good morning students today we are going to learn how to frame word problems for example you have been given a fact over here and you have to frame a word problem related to this fact and you can see very clearly it is a fact of addition the two numbers been added and their total has been given here so how to frame a question it can be done in various ways let's go through some examples for example the first example is kanti lal has 625 rupees and his brother has rupees 350 how much money do they have in all as i have told you in addition problem sums when we are adding two or three or more than two or three numbers we can say in all all together okay or how much money do they have how much money do they collect all together you can say that also isn't it so the next example says there are 625 books now we are dealing with objects instead of money so there are 625 books on literature and 350 other books in a library how many books are there in all okay so we are taking another example of objects and the question framing is more or less similar and the third one you can see shitij bought 625 pink bottles and 350 green bottles now it is very specific now we are talking about the objects like bottles with different colors so shitij bought 625 pink bottles and 350 green bottles for his shop how many bottles did he buy in all so i hope you have understood these three kinds of examples and an exercise will be given to you and you can frame these kinds of questions as per the given numbers okay god bless and keep working hard